Allegedly, I'm live. Good evening, all. Good evening, good evening, and welcome to my weekly show, which is The Devil Vapor Live. Um, yeah, welcome to every single one of you in chat, all bloody, you know, five or six of you, I'm not quite sure. Um, yeah, hello and welcome. So, uh, this week's show, completely unpla unplanned as per usual. Um, we're just going to, you know, talk shit for about an hour-ish. Evening, Tim. Evening, Brad. Evening, Jelly. Yeah, grab a grab a, a drink, grab a vape, and all that stuff. JP, you're right, mate. Erwin, Drews, you're right, Drews. Hello, uh, Bobo. I hope that is you, Bobo. Hopefully, everything is coming through um, nice and clear. Sup Onion, Mozzie, Superstar Stee, Arif, and Jason Leprechaun Parker, Chris Earl, JP Ward, Vaping Irish, you're right, Irish. Uh, Boo, uh, Andrew Bloomer, good evening to you too, sir. Oh no, good evening. Chris Robertson, who's Bobo? Zeus Juice, you're right, Zeus. Hope you're doing well, Rob. Shane Foster, I'm just going to say hello to everyone. Uh, Ian Morgan, Owen Norrie, uh, Adam Nutter, Drew's Reviews, you right, Drew, mate? Red Mozzie, Dave, Lizbeth, uh, Red Smooth, Grumpy, Shrek, and Cron. They are all the people currently in the live chat bollocks at the moment. So I've changed the latency settings for this, so hopefully things should be coming through um, as soon as I say things or within a few seconds. So um, hopefully it's all good. You right, Jenny, John Ross. Um, yeah, nice group of people in tonight. So if you want, you know, get this sharing and shit like that and see who else wants to come in and all that. So um, as per usual, pardon me, let me know what you are vaping on this evening. It's no surprise to any of you that I'm still on my ADV setup. Still on the same call on the Hellvape Fat Rabbit. That's been in there now for a month tomorrow um which is absolutely great on top of the aegis uh, the geek vape aegis legend limited edition jobby um zeus juice black ice i've got some six milligram in there i made up some special special stuff i don't even know where the bottle is there we go special special stuff which does have black tape on it so i know that it's six milligram but i've been chuffing on that at work hi robbie f um yeah um oh, irish is on the toilet nice one mate Make sure you, you use your finger to coax it out. Um, yeah, I've put that black tape on there so I know which one's six milligram, but I've been vaping that constantly for around about a week or so now, and the six milligram is doing me blooming well. <sighs> Owen Norris full of a fucking cold. We're well, not gonna get any sympathy here, unfortunately. I'm also on a few other little bits and bobs and pieces. I was gonna be on my you well crown pod, but I put it back in the box and I should really get it back out. You're right, Christopher Richmond. My, my you well crown pod. Now this, right, the review will be coming out, I think possibly this weekend. You well crown, this is meant to be red people, right? Red. Red, right, it says red. This is pink. This is pink as fuck. This is red. Look how different they are. Um, yeah, so uh, I'm on this as well. Um, it, it's a Caliburn beater. I'll be completely honest with you. It's a Caliburn beater, but watch out for my review on my full thoughts and opinions on it. You flat fat rabbit floods every time you fill it. Have you got the? Um, it's not the version two, but they re-released the the first batch because the first batch had dodgy a dodgy O-ring seal right at the top, um, so that might be it. So try filling your tank halfway up rather than all the way up, and it might do you blooming well. But I'll tell you what, this this is kind of like um, a Caliburn XL kind of thing. If you if you're into the Caliburn, um, then this. This will suit you absolutely well. I've just noticed it says sample not for sale on it. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> that is that. Now, if you are interested in getting any Zeus Juice paraphernalia, head on over to their website, um, whether it is ZeusJuiceUK.com, something like that. 
Um, and you know, use Devil 10 to get 10% off. And with that 10% off, I get just got to count it. I get about quarter of a million pounds per bottle sold. Um, so you know, keep spending money because I'm like, I'm rolling in it. I'm rolling in it. Um, no, I get absolutely fucking nothing. Um, but you know, um, just a little bit of discount for my followers and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, Rob, check out the the O ring that seals between the top of the coil. I think it's a white O ring. Um, it seals between the top of the coil and the top of the tank, uh, or the underneath of the tank. And um, check that out um, because you may need the second version. Kenny's on the magenta top side. This is more magenta, isn't it? Yeah, I'm on that as well. Um, I'm also on the Artery Pal 2. Uh, Pal 2? The Artery Pal 18650. Without, without any batteries in it. Oh, that's fucking good, isn't it? I was on that. Um, but I'm not on it anymore. I'll put a battery in it. Um, is Zeus Juice menthol or cool light? It depends on what you're going for, mate. Um, look at the descriptions on the website. And it will tell you whether it's mentholated or Coolingtons. You're right, Rob Normington. Wick Liquor Boulevard. That is a juice from the past. That uh, very, very nice juice. Oh! Uh, if, you, if you're going to talk about um, rip-off billet boxes, uh, Tim Rice. What about this? The SXK and Pro Vapes Bantam Box Revision. A review for that. Probably coming the end of this week. Chris, oh, you know what juice I'm on. I am on the uh, Zeus Juice Black Ice. Um... Yeah, this is a billet box revision. Well, it's not billet box revision. It's taken inspiration from the billet box. I've got the Nautilus Coil Jobby in here at the moment. Um, I've just reviewed it. And to be honest with you, I know absolutely sweet fuck all about billet boxes. Absolutely nothing. And there's all these bloody coils and... Oh, shit. Battery down. There's all these coils and bridges and stuff like that. Um, yes, yeah, 18350. Um, you can get all these and to be honest with you, I don't fucking care. Um, I don't know about billet boxes. I know there's a lot of hype about them. Um, I've been vaping four or five years and I couldn't care. But um, reviewing this was an absolute shit and giggle for me personally because um, there's loads of bits and bobs that I didn't understand and stuff like that. And it, it was just a fun little product to review. Yeah, it, it outputs some nice bloody power. But I think a lot of people are going for the kind of billet box style. And yes, Tim, I do understand that this is very similar to the billet box style. But um, who else has released one? Dot Mod have recently released one. You're right, uh, TBD. Welcome in. Um, yeah, the, the uh, what's it called? Dot Mod have just released one that looks very similar to a to a billet box. But, uh, Luz, I haven't noticed any parasitic draw from this. The, uh, what is it? The Revo 30 chipset apparently in this is improved over the original version. Um, and, I, I, you know, it's a nice little bit of kit, but could do with a few, um, little niggly bits sorted out, in all honesty. Uh, Reverend, uh, play it, press, uh, refresh. Press that refresh button. Sorry, I've got my bloody heater going on in the background. I turn that off. Sorry about that. Billet box, one hundred percent overpriced. Now I'm not even um, familiar with um, with the price and stuff like that. Hasn't the fetch and the dot mod got the same tank? Uh, not quite sure. Haven't got the fetch or the dot mod uh, TBD. Can I just confirm that everyone in chat at the moment uh, are reading me loud and clear without any buffering nationing? Have you tried the Vapor SO Degree Pod Kit? Um, I think I've already reviewed it, Webley. Uh, I'll just have a check. Degree Pod Review. Uh, yes, I've already reviewed it. Oh, good. Yeah, perfectly. Five by five. Loud and clear. 
Had a bit of buffering. Watching on uh, home. Yeah, if you're if you're on shitty white fire, you're right, Bill. Didn't see you in earlier. Um, you're right, Erwin as well. Yeah, so whilst you're here as well, um, I'm not quite sure. What did you have for fucking dinner? What did you have for dinner? So we like to talk about that. Couple of there's been a couple of sticks, but I'm in a garage on shit 3G. Um, yeah, I put this on low. You're right, Nicky Fox. I put this on low low latency mode or whatever it is, high latency. I don't fucking know. Um, you're right, DCFC Liam. JP Ward. You're right, JP. Pasta pesto. Yeah, I had um, sausage. Cheesy mash and beans. Superstar Steve had liver sausage. Shrek ain't had breakfast. Fucking hell, mate. Chips, vegan chicken pie. Look, TBD, you're lucky I ain't banning your ass for swearing. You know, the the V word isn't welcome in here, to be honest with you. But, you know, um, I'm nice. I don't do many bans. Chicken and veg pie. I like... Um, you know, like winter dinners and stuff. Stuff that warms you up and uh, fills you up and stuff like that. Um, I'm not really into stews or any shit like that. But, um, you know, like some bangers and mash and stuff like that. Um, it's got to be done. Vegans are sound. Uh... Bo. No. I'm not anti-vegan. But... I'm not too fond of the uh, the preachy vegans. Red Mersey! Do you think... Oh, yeah, cash for questions. If you want to ask me a fucking question, then pay me some cash. Otherwise, um, I'm not going to answer it. You know what I'm like. Um, elitist fucking bastard and all that. Um, just realised I don't think I ever told you I was vegetarian for seven years. Uh... Jelly, you, you spelt vegetarian wrong. Vegetarian, not vegetarian. Yeah, preach anybody, you dickheads. Yeah, there was that thing on uh, how to catch a pig or whatever it is. And what's his name? Red Mozzie, I'll get to your question in a second um, before I forget about this. Um, there was that thing, how to catch a pig or something like that. How to steal a pig. That is a very good little thing to watch. Um, and it had both sides of the argument. Preachy vegans, preachy meat eaters, the kind of elitist vegans and the very, very elitist uh, meat eaters and stuff they've done. Um, so check that out. I think it was on Channel 4, quite possibly. Um, but back to Red Mozzie's question. Do you think Corona may affect Vapor Expo exhibits? Um, oh, it might do, actually, because they're saying, uh, I, I read in the news today, that anyone coming over from um, that that region, uh, that region in China, they're getting put in quarantine for 14 days or something like that. But I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure. Air money, gun. Air money. I've had bacon twice today. Um, yeah, I think it might do. Um, I'm not quite sure. Say if stuff is in the hold of the aeroplane. I'm not sure if, unless it's um, temp controlled. Um, I think as it's going up and getting all nice and chilly up in the sky up there, because that's what planes do, they get a little bit cold. Um, it may kill all viruses and all that jazz. So I'm not quite... You're right, Paul. Um, I don't think products that we're receiving will get it, but I think where humans have it or may have it and it comes up, they're going to be all warm in the plane. It's going to be incubating inside them. So they're going to have to screen a lot of fuckers, isn't they? At, um, at what's it called? So you never know. You're right above the clouds. Hope you're doing well, mate. Uh, Kron, that is um, a very good statement to make, actually. It might not last long because it's made in China. But the thing is, they'll just clone it and clone it and clone it and clone it and clone it until it's some some bloody superbug or something like that. But I think, um, you, you know, my personal views on this, I've read up some things, and I don't know if this is hearsay or anything like that, but I've seen a thing on the web, uh, on the internet, where the 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 company that is dealing with it, they're like center of bloody infectious diseases and stuff like that over in China or the company that manufactured it. I'm not quite sure. Their logo is more or less exactly the same as the Umbrella Corp um, logo on Resident Evil. And in Resident Evil, they had the C virus 
um, that went out into Raccoon City. And Raccoon um, is a an anagram, or whatever you want to call it, of Corona. Um, so it's, it's very linky-linky. It very it's, it is very, very linky indeed. Um, I'm not quite sure if it's not history repeating itself, but you know... You know, some things predict things before it comes. Yeah, Lee Davis has just said it. Um, but yeah, I don't think it's making people zombies. Um, I'm not sure if zombies are real. Was it the T virus or was it the C virus? I thought it was the C virus in uh, in uh, Resident Evil. I'm not quite sure. But either way, there, there's a, a few bits of connections going on. A bit of finger and bum action going on. And... Um, I don't know, but T virus was later on. Oh, C and T virus. Thank you very much, Mo. Um, so yeah, it is very kind of uh, coincidental, shall we say? Coincidental. And you know, you get to, if a live animal is in there. So Phil, say if a little um, ah, oh, what what animals do they have over in China? Like a little Pikachu got on the plane in the in the hold. The Pikachu might bring it over, so you've got to be careful of the bloody Pikachus. Um, but yeah, I, from what I've read as well, it only seems to be... in. Uh, fair enough, it, it's infecting lots of people, but it only seems to be killing uh, people that are old or already sick or stuff like that. Yeah, panda. They have pandas over there. That's all they have. And Sheba dogs. Is it Sheba dogs? Shebas, yeah. Ouroboros. I know um, Ouroboros is from bloody Red Dwarf. Excuse me. Yeah, Walking Dead, get some practice. Um, but it is it is an interesting thing to see because, you know, like the other year we had bloody whatever it was, that other virus that was going around everywhere and, oh, everyone's going to die and stuff like that. And it's, I think it's... Um, it's producing like widespread panic. People over in China are buying masks and stop stockpiling masks and stuff like that. Um, so I think it's going to be a very, uh, very weird time. But I, personally, I would say don't panic. <laughs> really, don't panic. If you get it, you get it. Don't think. Yes, SARS, bird flu, swine flu. You know, it's, I think it's just overhyped bullshit. Ebola, there we go. Loco Pete got it spot on. Ebola. Um, I, I don't know if I've got Ebola or not, but if I have, I haven't died from it yet. So, uh, yeah, it's nothing to worry about. Yeah, um, Lee, I think it's, you know, you're just going to feel a little bit rough and under the weather. Have a few Coronas, right? A few of the beers. Not that I'm sponsored by them, but go out and buy some Coronas and drink some. You'll be fine. There we go. 3% mortality rate. Um, unless you're, you know, already blooming ill and sick as tits and stuff like that. The masks they are buying are not able to buy <laughs> to filter viruses. Fucking great. I heard it's only vegans that can catch the coronavirus. Good luck, you bunch of plant-eating weir pale weirdos. Yeah, fair comment, fair comment. Um, yeah, uh, I can't remember where I was. Um, but I think, you know, we'll be fine. 3% mortality rate, you know, it's it's worth taking the risk. Um, but as someone just said in chat, um, Con uh, Concrud is already bad enough as it is. PG is a potent antiviral agent. Well done, Lee. Well done, uh, with Lee. Phil. Well done, Phil. Uh, yeah, Jenny's mad broken. Need to get to the vets because the old swans are sick. I live the... And yeah, you might get run over by a bus, but make sure you're wearing clean pants. Always wear clean pants. Cotton can be contaminated, TBD. Ooh. John Ross, I'm not in my bedroom. This ain't my bedroom. Surely the passage drip tip will sort it. Quite possibly. Concrud is... Yeah, I think Concrud, 75% uh, infection rate, um, and you feel shit for too fucking long. And vapors will inherit the earth. I'm driving it. Drive it, Gareth. Drive it, mate. But yeah, it is very interesting. 
You're right, Yorkshire, Yorkshire lad from Sheffield. Have you got the coronavirus over there? The, yeah, they won't be clean by the time the bus hits you. Very, very good. We got a marriage proposal. Uh, Vaping Irish and Jenny Sin. Um, you know, I am a master of uh, marriage, marriageation. Where'd you get that skull from? That skull looks pretty cool, uh, Alan M. Every four days, backwards, forward, forwards, backwards, inside and out. Yeah, got to, got to do that. But yeah, um, in terms of vape mail as well, f flooding onto vape mail, I've had fuck all. I've had fuck all vape mail this week. Um, you're right, Ebby. Um, because it's Chinese New Year and all that jazz and all this fucking virus shite, um, I haven't had anything sent through this week, so I haven't got anything to show you, but apart from what I got last week and what I've reviewed and what is coming up for review and stuff like that. You're right, Vape Underground. Um, if you want, fire, fire over some questions towards me if you like, just to uh, get some content going your way. Um, in the chat icons, yeah, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. I like that. But yeah, ask me a few questions, and uh, I'll see if I can answer them. Oh yeah, my old address had plenty of fucking vape mail. They they're not giving it back. How was Slipknot? Superstar Steve. Slipknot were really good. Um, a nice gig. The audio was a bit funky. Um, for Behemoth uh, to begin with, um, they were Behemoth had pretty good sound. Uh, but Slipknot were as good as ever. The the set list wasn't as good as their Wembley show back in 2016. Um, yeah, sorry, Jen. It wasn't as good as what it was back in uh, in Wembley. I, I didn't really like it. Um, but yeah, it, it was it was a good gig. It was it was definitely worth seeing. Definitely, definitely worth seeing. But I just think the. Um, the what's it called? The um the set list needed revising massively. Um and on the slipknot of um hold on. Glass Mini. Um I haven't used it in uh, what's your recommended build for the Glass Mini? I've tried MTL, Fuse Claptons and now bitch to get rid of um hotspots. Guy Reed, I honestly can't remember from the Glass Mini. Um You'll have to watch the review. <laughs> You'll have to watch it. Um, sorry about that, mate. Paul Rogers. Dean, what is or what is your opinion on the IPV Mini, the little auto squonk? I'm using two of them with different juices and uh, in, and the pods don't seem to be lasting very long. Any advice, please? Um, what juice are you using for a starter, Paul Rogers? And um, it might be worth changing to... A different juice, um, to be completely honest with you. I had Zeus juice in mine, and mine were lasting absolutely fine. Um, but on the subject of Slipknot as well, just to piss Jenny off even more. I got a tour t-shirt with a logo similar to mine. Yeah, I got the 2020 tour t-shirt. And I also got a patch as well for my uh, battle vest thingy. So yeah. That would be uh, being worn or something like that. But, you know, I've picked this one because the logo is pretty similar to mine. Um, I'm actually wearing my new logo t-shirt. Look at that. How cool would that be, Jenny? We need a skull like that. We need a skull like that. So I might have another revamped logo. Am I going to review the GPIV 3 by Smock? No, I don't review for Smock. Put it on your wall. I hit the thumbs up. Yeah, hit the thumbs up. That t-shirt was a large um, t-shirt. Yeah, I used to love back um, logos on the back. Um, but I'm more of a front logo-y person. Let's see if there's any more questions. Never been a slam of, uh, fan of Slipknot from Bobo. Listen, listen to them. You're right, Lady P. Nice to see you in here. Yeah, try a thinner juice. Um, maybe a 50-50 would be fine. Loaded. Um, I think loaded are quite sugary. I didn't show my build. 
Oh, fuck. I'll have to, uh, you'll have to PM me or something uh, like that, mate. And um, that is from, huh, where is it? I didn't show the build. I didn't show the build. There we go. Guy Reed, PM me on my Facebook group or page or on the CBW fam. And uh, I'll see what I can do for you. I'll have to dig the tank out from somewhere. I'm not sure where it is. Why don't you review Smock products? Um, because Smock haven't approached me to review for them. Uh, Chris Robinson, 207 GTI. 207 GTI. Yes, the um, huh, client called CBW. Uh, the 207 GTI with a 1.6 turbo, 175 brake engine. Um, yeah, I absolutely loved mine. Got rid of it um, because no span. Yeah, um, I absolutely loved mine. I just fell out of love with it. I never drove it for quite a while. And um, yeah, I, I sold it on for a massive bloody loss um, just because I wanted to get rid of it, which was unfortunate. Um, where was we? Someone, yeah, Cron, no spanners. Um, I'm quite anal with the way I run things. I like things run the way I want them to be run. So um, you're right, Melinda. Um, like my Facebook group, my Facebook page and stuff like that, I don't have any admins or mods except for myself because there's people around here who, um, you know, they grab a spanner and think they can fucking run the place and know the ins and outs of everyone else's business. And for me personally, it, it's no one else's fucking business who I block, who I unblock, who I let in, who I don't let in and stuff like that. It is all down to me and my personal preference. Um, so yeah, it's, you know, all, all run by me. You're right, ST Vapes. Nice to see you in here, sir. Um, yeah, I, I don't like the point of group. Yeah, quite anal, my, uh, my fucker. Um, I just like things to be run the way I like to run them. So say if, you know, say if someone put a shit post on my Facebook page or something, and then someone who's admin who thinks they know how I think um, comes in, oh, ban you, and all that shit, and they might be a good friend of mine or whatever, or it might be something different. Um... You know, it's not their decision to make. It's my fucking group. It's my fucking YouTube channel. I will run it the way I want. Um, and most of the time, I don't moderate anything. Um, you know, I believe in... Yeah, exactly, exactly, Melinda. Um, you know, I just like... I'm, I'm quite anal with that kind of thing. Um, but it's nice to see ST Vapes in here. Welcome in, Squire. Uh, Lee Davis. Um... Best Slipknot song for me is Left Behind. Not a massive fan of heavy metal, but that song is wicked. Yes, um, that was very, very good. And uh, what's his name? Uh, TBD said, what am I vaping on? So a uh, quick run through for everyone new in chat. I've got the Aegis Legends Limited Edition with the Hell Vape Fat Rabbit on top. Um, all of these have got Zeus Juice Black Ice in it because it's the only thing I vape. Um, single call in the Hell Vape Fat Rabbit. I've also got the Artery, um, what's it called, PAL 18650. Review for that went up yesterday. Um, I have got the Bantam Box Revision. There we go. Get that out. Bantam Box Revision. Sorry, buffering. Hold on. I'll slow down latency. Uh, doesn't support. I can't change my latency. Sorry. Uh, sorry about the buffering. Um, I'm also on this, the U World Crown pod. The U World Crown pod. Uh, very, very good. This is a Caliburn beater. Uh, an absolute Caliburn beater. Uh, what else am I on? I'm not on anything else, really. Another good pod out at the moment. I know uh, people really don't like pods. Um, the Asmodus Pike. That was quite good for flavour. Sufficing would be a very, very good song. Uh, poem. Shit. Poem. It's poem time. Bollocks. Uh, da, 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 da. Cunt and the gang lyrics. Bear with me one second whilst I look through the thing. Feel free to chat amongst yourselves. Um, I'm just going to look for a poem for this week. Do, 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 do. Bum, 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 bum. Gentleman's wash. 
Yeah, let's do gentlemen's wash this week, people. Gentlemen's wash. So gentlemen's wash can be found at the Cunt and the Gang website. Oh, to the letter T. What? No, we're, we're doing gentlemen's wash. Gentlemen's wash. Sorry, I haven't got time to fanny about, Jenny. We're doing gentlemen's wash. So let's get the poem. Thank you for remembering that at half past because I nearly forgot. So this is Gentleman's Wash by Cunt and the Gang. It can be found here. Woo! So let's go. Poem time. Last Friday night I was due out on a date. But unfortunately I got home really late. I didn't have time for a bath or a shower. There's only one thing that could save us. It was just like a shower, but it was over the sink. The only thing that gets washed is shiny and pink. If there's a possibility of, uh, if, bleh, if there's a possibility of fellatio, you have to make sure that your knob doesn't smell like quavers. A gentleman's wash, a gentleman's wash. If you think there's half a chance, your cock may get a nosh. Pull your pants to one side, wash the member they hide, and that's a little gentleman's wash. The other weekend I was out on the piss when this girl who got wankered came and gave me a kiss. She said, I bet you've got a big knob because you've got big hands, just like Peter Shilton. But I'd rather, uh, but I'd come straight from footy and I thought my cock might stink. So I rushed to the bogs and flopped it out on the sink. I thought, if I'm going to get sucked off, it's only good manners to make sure that my knob doesn't smell like Stilton. A gentleman's wash, a gentleman's wash. If you think there's half a chance, um, your cock might get a nosh. Pull back your skin, wash the helmet within, and that's a little gentleman's. Have a little gentleman's. That's a little gentleman's wash. And that was Gentleman's Wash by Cunt and the Gang, the poem for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, lads, make sure you have a little gentleman's wash. Definitely. Every, every day. Hmm. Yeah, UK Vapes up. Welcome in. Welcome to everyone in who may or may not have joined whilst I was doing the poem. If you're new here, let me know what you're vaping on and stuff like that. Now, we're halfway through the show this week. Why is chat stopped? There we go. Chat is back. It froze for a bit for me, unless no one was talking. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, um, that's an absolutely grim poem. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Guy Reed, definitely, mate. Definitely. Vindicator 21 mech all day, every day. Got to get the cottage cheese off. How he does it any time he might get an ush, even if he just has a shower. I sing those poems on him and give them my own melody. Well done, Paul Rogers. <sighs> It's my first portal call before going to bed. Definitely. Yo, David Renshaw. How you doing, darling? Dee, 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 nothing to talk about. I've used the Glass Mini with a Coilology wire for a month or two. Now, that's awesome. Just make sure your leads are clamped down properly and the usual play, pulse and scrape. Oh, what you eating, Jenny? Jenny, what you eating? Because I didn't read uh, what you're eating. I'll actually see if I've got my my article. Ah, hold on, it might be behind the uh, computer. One second. Glass mini. I've got it here. There we go. I think this is the glass mini, isn't it? I think it is. I think I've just got a little. Uh, I haven't tried the Vinci RBA inside the um, PM80 yet, unfortunately. Let's see what Colbert... I haven't used this for fucking ages, so you'll have to excuse me. Uh, I've got like a little Clapton in there. Not that you can see because the light is too bright, but um, that is... Four wraps around possibly a 
Diddly dee. Let's get through the uh, chat again. Uh, Aspire Dynamo Dual 21700. Very nice. Hellbeast Tank. Lovely. Scotland is getting washed tonight with all the rain. Yeah, needs some washing up there. Get your knobs out and clean them while you're up there. Free water. What, what's uh, Bobby just Giuliano? Um, what best RDA RTA recommended for Redeem Heaven? Or is it true titanium good? Not to go heat. I'm not quite sure, Bobby. I believe the translation isn't coming through very, very well. Very, very well indeed. Uh, bulk on the box, a classic, lovely. Fancy the fancy the Vupu Vinci X for a pound. Check out new vaping at 8 p.m. and grab one on the daily flash sale. Yeah, you can do that. Uh, was that spaced ever so slightly, ever so slightly, Guy Reed? Um, that will eliminate hot spots as well. If you you space it a very little bit, so if you get it on your coiling rod, um, and then get your fingernails in it, pull it apart like you're cleaning your foreskin, then push it back together, and then that will be blooming great. Alonzo Day from Canada, Canada. Welcome in. Welcome in. What's your thought on the YouTube strikes gone on as Vic's channel is down again? Is vaping pro probably going to be phased out on YouTube? Um, if it does, it does. <laughs> Do you know what? It, it doesn't phase me at all. As much as I love doing this, you're right, Flat Cap. Um, as much as I love doing this, um, it isn't my life at the end of the day. Um, it isn't my life. Um, but yeah, it would be very, very sad to see vaping go from YouTube. I don't think they will. I think it's fear mongering and all that shite. Um, but yeah, it, it's strange what is going on. It is very strange indeed. But I'm not going to worry too much about it for the time being. Yeah, I heard Fagan got his um, second strike today. Um, Vic got his second strike. I think it was yesterday. Um, yes, UK Vapor, I did watch your um, your KLP review. I haven't had time to comment on it yet, but I was watching it last night before I went to bed. Uh, Derek Redmond, recommendation on an RDA. If you want something cheap, cheerful, that's going to give you good flavour... Um, good clouds, easy to build on. Go for the keys. Um, fucking hell, what was it? The keys. This thing. What is it called? The the key Alexander by Keys. Very very nice RDA. Very very forgiving and stuff like that. Yeah, Key Solomon RTA, very, very nice indeed. Uh, what recommend that? Yeah, re I've just done that. I don't think it's vaping being struck off. It's more the reviewers. Uh, quite possibly, Kenny, yeah. Uh, quite possibly. Um, Devil, do you carry any pods or kits during the day or are you straight up sub-ohm tank vapor? I'm straight up sub-ohm tank wanker. Definitely, 100%. Um, I do sometimes carry a pod if I'm going out and about and I need a bit more nicotine. Uh, but 99% of the time, I'm on 3 or 6 milligram in a sub-ohm um, tank. Yeah, the Alexander. Yeah, Keys Alexander. Fuck me, why won't this camera... You, you understand, it's the Alexander. Bum, 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 bum. Even though you're hosting your own weekly... Uh, even thought about hosting your own weekly live show with guests um you're the biggest youtuber in the uk that hasn't caused any shit so it would make sense um com to be completely honest with you guy um it would be nice to have guests on um but i'm i'm not quite sure um obviously with all the drama that is going on it's difficult to choose who to come on and what uh, what people are going to like and what people aren't going to like and stuff like that. Personalities may clash. Um, I'd rather keep this uh, just to myself for the time being and see how it goes. And then uh, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes after that. But let's, um, this build has been sitting in here. This little, um, this little fucking thing. Seriously, this build has been in here for two, three weeks. No, two, three months, sorry. Yeah, um, and in response, in response to the drama as well, I wanna wanna make one thing clear. Um, 
you know, yes, I am friends with uh, a lot of people from either side of the fucking uh, the drama that's going on. Um, but I'm remaining impartial. People may have noticed that I've taken a little bit of a back seat um, with the drama since before Christmas. And this has given me the opportunity to observe people very, very closely. Um, not just the, the drama causes and stuff like that. Um, but just everyone. I've, I've been watching a lot of people very, very closely indeed. Um, and it's surprising what you can see when you... You know, if I'm uh, chatting to XYZ, um, I may be clouded by their opinions. If I'm um, chatting with ABC, I may be clouded by their opinion. Where I've taken a seat back, uh, a step back, and looked at the wider picture, I've noticed a lot of things. Um, and personally, I don't want to get dragged into it. And one thing I don't want as well is people bringing shit onto uh, my Instagram, my Twitter, my Facebook. It, it's, it's fuck all to do with me. Absolutely fuck all to do with me. Um, you know, and, and Lady P said it's unneeded stress. Now, I was speaking to Mark the other day and I said, you know, ever since I've taken a step back, it's felt like a massive weight has been lifted off my shoulders. Um, because I'm not worrying about what I'm saying to X or what I'm saying to Y. Um... You know, I'm I'm kind of like my own free spirit kind of thing. And it's really nice. It, it's very uplifting. And I think a lot of people, you know, a lot of people say, oh, you're so humble. And I am really humble. I'm happy with what I'm doing. Um, I'm happy speaking to anyone I want to. And I'm not going to have people dictate to me who I can and can't speak to. Um, you know, one day I might want to speak, well, whenever, uh, you know, I might be speaking to Mark and Chris at the same time or whatever on chat. And uh, the, the things I said to the lads is, I'm friends with you, I'm friends with him, if you've got a fucking problem with it, um, tell me. And none of them had a problem with it, and if they did have a problem with it, I'd rather them come to me and say. But as not, none of them have said um, they've got a problem with it, you know, no one should have a problem at all. And um, the main thing that is making the drama worse is the little titter-tatters in the background, the followers and stuff like that, the people that think... They're in the pants of the people involved. And if you kept your fucking mouth shut, a lot of this shit would die down and be forgotten about. Yes, a little bits, little bits and bobs will um, sprout up, but it wouldn't be as bad as it would be. But at the end of the day, everyone is entitled to their own opinion on whoever they want to um, voice it on. Obviously, you've got to keep things civil. Got to take a breath. Got to take a breath. <sighs> you right, right, Lethal? Mm. You know, I'll be civil with fucking absolutely anyone. Um, but I'm very good. Thank you very much, Lethal. Um, you know, everyone should be free to have opinions on anyone. You know, the, I'll be completely honest with you. There's there's things I don't like about Vic. There's things I don't like about Chris. There's things I don't like about Mark. I don't go voicing my opinion and, and using that as ammunition to get people on my, my side. Because there is no fucking my side at the end of the day. Um... You know, people watch me because they like me or, you know, because they want a bit of the devil ass or something like that. Um, I, I am my own person. I'm a free spirit and all that shit. So um, I don't really care. I, I honestly don't fucking care. And it's, uh, it's, it's boring as fuck. It's boring and long as fuck. And it's getting very, very tired. It's been going on for three, four months now. And it is boring. Absolutely boring. Um, but that will be the end of that. It'll be the end of that because uh, we're all about the love. Well, we're not all about the love. Um, but yeah, I don't think people should come into this show and feel, oh, I can't chat because matey boy's in there. You know, they might start attacking me. Everyone should be like, not feel as this is a safe haven or anything like that. Um, but, you know, everyone should feel free to come in here. Yes, you may or may not get criticised and have a little bit of a dig um, at you. But if you don't like it, just block them. Just block them. Block, block the haters. Block the haters. If you don't like it, block them. All right. And, and that's that. That is that. Um, the thing is, <laughs> you're right, Craig Smith. I nearly got out of breath uh, <laughs> going off on one. Um, yeah, that, that's really the most I've said about this fucking drama, to be honest with you. And um, yeah, take it as you wish. Take it as you wish. Um, take it as you wish. Tandiana Quinlan. 
I'm not sure who you are, but hi. Yeah, everyone has their own views, uh, Snedham. Everyone has their own views. Um, I'm going to try and get... There's enough shit going on in the street, yeah. All about the love. Bit of that ass. Sorry about that, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, if you want to bid for my ass, down there is the super chat. And the higher you bid, uh, the more of my imaginative arse you will get. There we go. John Ross, John Ross, um, yeah, 100 quid, 100 quid, whack, whack 100 quid in super chat and uh, I'll send you a picture of me ass. Yeah. Yeah, fair, fair play, sure. Absolutely fair play. Jackie Maguire ain't got a loud dripper. I can, I can, not starting drama or anything, but the, the Kelpie is a loud dripper. Um, if you want a loud dripper, um, I can give you a loud dripper. Oh, shit, there goes a squonk bowl. But the thing is, right, the, the Kelpie, uh, the Kelpie RDA, in terms of flavour, right, forget the opinions of others, because mine's the only opinion that matters. Um, the flavour is bloody good, the construction is janky, and the airflow is noisy. You know, what What more can you say? But um, let's, let's vape on this. No, it doesn't make that much noise. It's not a fucking fog on. Um, it is a noisy RDA, but it does produce some nice flavour. Uh, this motherfucker, um, yes, um, I, I have an unbleached, unbleached rear. You are right, ALD? What? Is that Tandy is in Tandy? If that's Tandy is in Tandy, I know who you are, but I don't know that, that big name. I haven't made me. You're right, Roy. I haven't made my mind up about London Expo. I'm really, really not sure. I'll probably um, think about it the week before. Oh, you're right, Tandy. Why the fucking name change? Thank you, Lethal. Uh, I'm not sure what you're gonna get. <laughs> you can have like a waft of my ass into the mic for two quid. There you go. <laughs> so what you think? Uh, you me Jenny sins borrow fucking hell that that would be uh, possibly an evening of uh, of amazement I think yeah the Corona, corona Morona yeah I'm not sure <laughs> Tandy I'm really not sure sorry um I hope you're doing well, Tandy. It's been a long bloody time. Who who else come in chat the other week? Uh, the other day? Um, Steena Marie. Steena Marie come in chat the other day. I'm not sure I'm not sure of uh, your association or whether you have association with Steena Marie. Uh, but Steena come in chat the other day. Um, I haven't seen her for a fucking while. This goes back to the... Uh, no, I don't drink Fosters. Um... This goes back to like the Vapors TV days uh, when we used to do stuff over on Vapors TV. Yeah, <laughs> ARD, yeah. No, seriously, I don't think Vic's uh, vaping style doesn't do the RDA any, any favours because Vic proper chuffs on things. He like proper... I'm going to try and do a Vic chuff on this, right? And this is in no badness towards Vic, but I'm going to try and replicate how Vic chuffs. Favourite uh, to ever series on TV? Um, what's it called? Um, the Upside Down Bloody Thing. Ready? That's a Vic chuff. If I vape like that all day long, I'd have fucking asthma and shit. I don't know. I really don't know, but <laughs> that's a Vic chuff right there. Vic really does chuff on stuff. But I, I'm i not like a, a heavy inhaler. Yeah, that's a normal inhale for me. But yeah, it is noisy. But uh, the, the flavour is damn good. The flavour is damn good. And if any of you cunts want to feel like, oh, 
Vic, Dean speaking about you on his live stream. Go and fucking rim his ass for fuck's sake. Bloody bastard. Sorry for knocking the uh, mic then. I'm not taking the piss out of Vic. I'm replicating what he does. Vic's old karaoke videos were good, yeah. Oh, God, do the exhale. I... Uh, there was that video, right? And this is no piss take to Vic again. Um, just for you little shit talkers out there. Where <laughs> where they do the exhale and they cut to the thing. Uh, they cut to the thing where someone's getting blown away. Uh, that, that really did make me laugh. I did see the funny side to that video. So Vic inhale and Vic exhale. <laughs> it's, it's like, <laughs> you know, the fire extinguishers with the CO2. That's Vic. Yeah, Stranger Things was very, very good indeed. But enough um, having a laugh at Vic's expense. Damn! <laughs> Sorry, it just reminds me of one of those fucking fire extinguishers. He, he does let it rip. He does let it rip. The, the Dorgar RTA was, um, was pretty noisy. I haven't used that in a while, uh, to be completely honest with you. Yeah, no, no harm into intended. Oh, for fuck's sake, I'm not. I can't do that over and over again. Um, I'm going to end up blooming, nicking myself out. The safe word is never help. It's banana hammock. What? Well, one more. Right, we're going to try and perfect the the vaping with Vic vaping experience. Oh. So, I'm going to have to juice this up. There we go. Was that it? Was that it? <laughs> There's a bit of a dry hit on that. I didn't let the wigs fucking soak too much. Maybe that's what we'll do. We're doing impressions of. Uh, <laughs> we're doing impressions of vapors. Um, but yeah, light-hearted humor. Light-hearted humor. So we have. Oh yeah, damn! <laughs> Fuck! I forgot the damned. Sorry. Um, yeah. Damn close, damn close. My eyes are watering now. Also, I forgot to tell you, I'm vaping on the Vapor SO Target PM80. Uh, very, very good little pod device. Flavor is good. Mine is red because you're boring. Mine's black. I'm not sure what you're on about, to be honest with you, Jelly. My safe word is pineapple juice. Very good safe word. Uh, let me know all your safe words. Uh, let me know all your safe words. Yeah, look, Yorkshire, I'm not sure either. I'm really not sure. You, uh, Lance, you can post it if you want. You can post it if you want. Vupu PMP RB8. Now, I think uh, this is the one that takes the... Um, the What's it called? The Vandy Vape. Uh, not the Vandy vape, the other thing, the mech life thing. Where, uh, mech life Vinci. I'm not, I'm not sure where that is. I did have it the other day. I've got the, uh, the Vupu Vinci, sorry, the Vupu Vinci. I'm not sure where that is, to be honest with you. Vupu Vinci. Oh, it's fucking leaked. Stood up. No, I can't do it. It's just leaked all fucking over me. Sorry. Don't forget the tea. You can't have bananas as a safe word when I'm... Yeah, but you, you wouldn't say banana and hammock at the same time. Twatty bollocks. Oh, um, if Smock are watching this, I would like to review for Smock. Um, but, you know. I stole it, Dino. It's in mine. Uh, yeah, I've actually got a couple of the RBAs here. The the Vinci RBA. Um, they, they actually sent me through another one. You actually say anyone else's name? The actual words, anyone else's name, or is it someone else's name? Derek. Derek was just the, the strangest name I could come up with right then. But this... The the Vaporesso tar sorry Vaporesso Target PM80 is a cracking little um, all in one kit. Vaporesso 
Very, very good point there. Insert the bananas into the hammock. Now, I took this to Slipknot with me um, as a little side mod. I had my, my main setup, and this is my side mod. And it done me really well. Uh, the battery lasted really well. Um, in about 12 hours, I only done about 50% of the battery. No, not 12 hours. Between 5 and midnight. Yeah, you should have... Um, <laughs> I don't review high-end kits. I review what, whatever sent to me. Yes, I do have um, a few opinions and stuff like that. I do do a bit of screening before I agree to review stuff. Um, but most of the time, unless it's a pod kit that's, you know, made from Chinese, I don't bother. Mount your partner from behind. Start the sexy time. Say someone else's name. And hold on for dear life. Very, yeah, good idea, Smooth. Could you vape in the gig like you can here? I'm going to put it this way. I, I may have had, I, I didn't chuff, I didn't chuff away in the gig. Um, every so often, I had this in my top pocket, in my jacket, and I was like, every so often and held it in. So I had the old, um... The old nicotine in there. Hey, Jenny. Yeah, I had the uh, the. I uh, held it in, so I you know got a bit more of a nicotine hit, so I wasn't exhaling massive clouds or anything like that. But it's hard being in a gig for, you know, what was it about three hours and not having a vape, especially when everything is is going absolutely crazy. Um, it's hard not to vape. I know you shouldn't vape, um, but you know there were people smoking there. Um, and everything like that. So, you know, what, what, what can you say? I'm not saying it's right to do that. Um, I wouldn't say that it's right to vape at a gig. The, uh, target PM80, Mobro. Uh, yeah, it isn't right to vape where you, you shouldn't smoke. Um, but you know, there was, there, there was times and needs. You're right, Jisp. Yeah, the, the, the thing is, um, the amount of smoke and fire and that that was coming from Slipknot and stuff, <laughs> it masked everything out anyway. There was explosions and stuff like that. It, it is really nice. This is just a um, like a tester version, so it doesn't come with the rubber bungs for the airflow holes. Um, but it's it's really nice. Uh, it's a really nice bit of kit. Good flavour. And you can fit an RBA deck in here as well, which I will be doing a separate video for. Now, on the subject of videos and to round this stream off, um, we're going to go through what reviews are coming up this week. Um, yes, I do have a lot of pods to go through this week, so apologies about that. Um, possibly later tonight, I'm going to have the SXK Bantam Box revision. <gasps> Excuse me up for review that is it's a bit of a it's a 20 minute long video but it's a very good review uh, my personal opinion we've also got the UL crown pod very very good little pocket it is a caliburn beta and the segeli glory pod which is back in the box i think not sure where it is I had the Segeli Glory Pod as well that um, the review was meant to be out last week, but I forgot to post it out this week. Um, and that should really be my reviews for the rest of the week. Apologies that it's, you know, not massive content and stuff like that. But next week I've got some box mods and e-liquids to review and stuff like that. Um, so, you know, just keep an eye out. I, I can only review what's sent to me. And a lot of it lately has been pods from like the mainstream manufacturers. Um, but right. I hope you get better, Melinda. But I'm going to cut this short now because Mobro is on over on his channel. So uh, let's round things off nicely. I'd like to thank every single one of you that have come in tonight and chatted and stuff like that. It's been absolutely beautiful. Neil, I'm just heading out now. Apologies, mate. Uh, but thanks for tuning in anyway. Um, massive love to all the questions, everyone that's joined and, you know, had fun and all that jazz. You know what we always do. Um, but no, it's been a really, really nice show as per usual. Hopefully I will be back um, next week. Um, oh, sorry, not my bro. Aiden, uh, Little Bro Vapes is on next.
Little Bro uh, Vapes is on uh, on on his channel. So please head on head on over to his channel if you want to watch another show. I might be releasing the review for the Bantam Box revision later, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, don't forget to click that like button, that subscribe button, and that bell button to be kept up to date with my latest news and reviews and i will see you all next week or on the next review so thank you very much once again for tuning in and i'll see you next week bye where's these in stream button see you later everyone thank you